How's it going, boys? So today we are playing the ultimate resurrection deck. Oh yes, the primal resurrection deck. So, primal glorious rebirth. What a card, boys, trust me. So, we have four land of else, one fey of fishes, two fiddle bibs, four gifts of paradisio, two trefaris, Two Oats of Kaya, four Tomebound Liches, two sh uh, four Shattered Them Skies, two, uh, two Quadrafaris, uh, two Tamios, two Narsids, Gilf versions, two, uh, two Fefaris, and two Chandras. And this is literally enough for us to do what we want. So the, uh, so the premise is li very simple. We get Planeswalkers in the graveyard, we resurrect Planeswalkers from the graveyard. And we have a little bit of ramp here and there, a little bit of wipe here and there, because most of our cards are more or less just cycling. And we have a sideboard to cleanse the mind and two omnisciences, because again, kind of an infinity deck. And a bunch of lands, four fable passages, four interplanetary beacons, and a bunch of lands. The lands are the awkward part, but I do believe, and boys, if you know one thing, that I am an extremely strong believer in my ability to top deck the right thing at the right time, because that's what magic is about. Anyway, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? And also, we have two new Patreons, boys. First, Joseph Zuniza. Ah, 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 a mosquito. What was that? Oh, it's here. Got it. Got it. Okay, where were we? That mosquito even failed. Uh, Joseph, Zuniz, we, we already thanked you, but damn that mosquito. Okay, anyway. Thank you again, uh, Joseph, anyway. But we have two actually new Patreons. Mosquitoes, I will destroy their whole family tree one day. But, where were we? Mosquitoes, mosquitoes, evil mosquitoes. Oh, yes. Sebastian Me Merhabi. Thank you for becoming a Patreon. I know it was most likely hard, but you did it. And Costas. Thank you. Thank you for your support, it is greatly appreciated, and I do not like this color common. What is that? Wait, is it something that helps me accomplish my dreams? <gasps> Enemy con, you should not have. That is absolutely great and fabulous news. Oh, yes. By the way, our deck has a lot of healing, if anyone's wondering. Oh, boys. A free Trefari and a... Oh, wait. Uh-oh. <gasps> That's not exactly great. Okay, you took something of mine. But you did put a Quadrafari in the graveyard. And that's honestly not that bad. <clears throat> okay, boys, who wants me... Who... Who here wants me... Uh, wants, uh, wants me to just put that... Okay, we're not gonna do that, obviously. Okay, we're gonna put this right there. And now we're gonna kill something. And now we're gonna do this right there, boys. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a scientist. This is how we do it. This is the plan, and this is a great plan. Again, trust me. The more things we draw, well, the more things we put in the graveyard, the more things we resurrect for literal freebies. Oh, what could possibly... No, seriously, this is like a super strong start. So there you have it. Anyway, enemy Kun is probably thinking, wait a minute, he's putting those planeswalkers in the graveyard like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Is he a madman? Well, he is, because Pat Cat's not on purple. Okay, now we're not no longer a madman. Or at least a disting distinguishable madman in society. Now we're hidden, like it should be. Boys, pro tip, if you're a sociopath, hide that. Anyway, I think he's gonna surrender. There is absolutely no way he doesn't find it suspicious that I just put this in the graveyard. Oh, boys. It's the Trefari gang. It's the Quadrefari gang. It's the Fifari. He is mad. 
This guy is absolutely livid, most likely. Hey, I would also be, honestly, so, so it's fine. Okay. So, great stuff currently is happening. I have no idea how enemy Kun is gonna, you know, get back to it. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boys? Ah, the, the, it's it's absolutely fine. I was gonna say there's no way for us currently to get the black land, but uh, ma ma magically it's fine. Okay, so uh, do this, get get that sweet sweet white uh, white here, and now play this, and voila! Oh yes, boys! Oh yes, is the definitely right word for the situation. Okay, get everything on curve, get everything right there and then. Do we need so many Tombbound Liches? Ah, uh, probably. Honestly, what could possibly go wrong at this moment in time? Nothing. He understands that we're a graveyard deck, and he understands now that there's a little bit of a problem facing a graveyard deck. Especially with this lineup. Oh yes, boys. Three Trefaris and a Gilf. I cannot imagine a verse horror scenario in my life. But that is fine. That is absolutely fine because enemy kun spirit is already broken. And for good reason, may I add. Oh yes. At least we're good at one thing. Breaking spirits. And since we're playing magic, I do think that is... Well, literally, sadly enough. Well, anyway, this person is 100% defeated, spiritually, mentally, and yeah, well, good try using Gaunti. It's a, it's a fantastic card, but hey, if you're not playing an aggro deck, it's chances are you're gonna have problems against this. But anyway, easiest win of my life. So yeah, now you kind of understand how, what is that? Oh, that's that. I have no idea what that was, but that was not a mosquito, so I am happy. I actually never exactly understand how mosquitoes work, because my triceps is pretty good, boys, not gonna lie. Uh, and it still tr bites in there. You know, it still bites in there. You know? That part of me is very muscular. That part of me is pretty goddamn tough. Like my upper... Uh, well, neck part and shoulder part, that's also pretty good. That's why, that boys, by the way, that's where I wear uh, big cut uh, t-shirts. That's what you call them? I don't know, but I do it anyway. <clears throat> okay, this looks horrible. Are we gonna mulligan? Yes, we are. Well, this is honestly a lot... <laughs> Can I leave this the last card? Am I insane? Atamio is gonna definitely not be use as useful. Okay, so here's Hopin. It's an aggro deck. Well, hopes are lost. Oh, look at that. It is an aggro deck. Wow. Could have fooled me, enemy Kun. Uh, just gonna play it for no reason. It's not like we actually have a play. And chances of, of, of us getting a turn 2 play are very, very not existent. So there we have it. Okay. Oh god, that's Ragdos aggro. I feel problems. Definitely feeling problems. Well, not so you're gonna have to like do stuff. And a lot of stuff, sadly. But hopefully you're up. I should have honestly put something in the sideboard that makes sense. But yeah, great great job, enemy con. Ten out of ten. What what a play. Wait, is this an enchantment deck, maybe? It's hard to tell. It most likely is, but yeah. Uh, what can we discard to actually kill this? Probably nothing if it's an enchantment. Gee, okay, yeah, that's... That's pretty much all she wrote. This card is a very, very problematic, to say the least, boys. Yeah. So, do we have a chance? Unless we draw Magnificence, it's... Yeah, that's not gonna probably cut it now, huh? 
Oh, because I did... Okay, that's that's the surrender right there. Okay. Well, it wouldn't exact... Well, we had a super low chance of victory. If we discard the prime, uh, Primeval Rebirth, maybe there's something we can do there. But again, since he had protection, it's like he just buffs that, protects it one time, and he's absolutely fine. So chances to win that game, around 10%, I would say. It's okay. First game, we crushed the soul. So that counts as two wins most of the time. And everyone uses the new avatar. You know, it's interesting. People previously never used the avatars. You know, the, uh, the buy ones. And then people just suddenly started doing it. Even though most are ugly as hell. You know? I find that fascinating. Why do people do that? Anyway, green. We're gonna need it for Gift of Paradisio. Could have also added a Chromatic Lotten, but that's honestly beyond my reach of understanding. Not getting land screwed in a deck I make? Heresy. Not gonna lie. Okay. Onward we go. No turn one play. No ramp. Enemy Kun is pr hopefully AFK. That's our best chance of winning. Hopefully AFK. Again, 100% de uh, depends on how much of an aggro. Yeah, well, yeah, that's 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 probably all she wrote. Okay, so the good part with the bodyguard is, it's an older card, which means its sacrifice effect is not completely ludicrously overpowered. As strange as that may sound for some, I know, right? So yeah. The bodyguard's thing is, it needs to be played, and then you need to choose a target. I would personally say that's a reasonable way to actually make a, a protection work, and not be completely jack shit overpowered. But yeah, I guess it's fine. Well, it is a 2 one for one that's supposed to sacrifice something. Oh god, I know what this is. That's not just an aggro deck, boys. That's an extremely aggressive deck. These decks do one thing and they do that one thing extremely well. Be extremely... I should just probably put a wipe in the sideboard. Let's be real for a second. Well, I always... <clears throat> well, I can always try the Tamiyo approach. Uh, search for... Uh... Okay, so, a little known fact is that Tamiyo has a serious, by the way, drawback. Uh, you need to know the cards you put into your own deck, otherwise her plus one is really hard to, uh, hard to play sometimes. You know, I am a believer that I'm gonna do it right, but it's a little bit hard considering I have absolutely no, no idea what cards are really called. It makes it a little bit challenging to say the least, boys. Also, we have nothing in the graveyard currently. We have a Fae of Wishes that's just sitting there looking ugly as hell. We have a Tombbound Lich, which will definitely do work. But the good part is, Magic the Development Indie Company does think about the stupid people. So... Oh, it doesn't. It's some kind of rat. <laughs> Store... Storms? Nope. Storm. It's not Storms Rat. That's the red one. I have absolutely no clue what's. I'm gonna just look it up at my old videos. We, we have time. Just need to find a deck where I actually put it. Okay, boys. Relax, it's fine. Oh. Uh, Ogin Lane, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, that also honestly works. <clears throat> Magic, everyone. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so lesson learned. Let's actually l let's just check what what's our rat spelled card. Shatter the them skies. Okay, shatter. Good, because I was act I was not finding a video where, where I 100% where I know that I put that card in. 
That's that. That's good. That that legitimately saves us a little bit. Okay, a Garuk avatar. Everyone's using these avatars, and no one's using the Tamio avatar. Honestly, disgusting. Okay, so this is more or less fine. We have a way to put things in the graveyard, which is nice. Okay, let's see. We're probably putting this bad boy on the green land right there. Because green... We could just remove green, couldn't we? And it would be absolutely fine. Well, we could, but I'm probably not gonna do it. No, wait, we can't remove green because of Tamio. Right, I actually tried this one time. Yeah, Tamio makes an infinity rotation. So, you know, stuff. Okay. Is enemy could do you think enemy couldn't is just gonna surrender out the sheer brutality of my pressure? You know? Not saying I'm an anime character, but boys I definitely may be. Okay, so green. Let's pretend. Let's make believe, boys. Let's make believe that we're not gonna draw a fibble bit because that would be detrimental. I don't want him to play this deck if he... Okay, that, 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 that's a Gruul aggro deck. That's fine-ish. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's f a Gruul aggro deck. No, no, nothing too big. Except I really dislike the concept of playing against Gruul aggro. Uh, just drop... Are you not dropping it? Ah, is that possible? No. Wait, what? Huh? Oh no! Why? Oh, are you a lottery build? One of my Patreons in the Patreon games played that. <clears throat> it's disgusting. Well, we know of it. We kind of made 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 one ourselves. But the pure lottery deck is literally this. As long as he draws the song, which he one hundred percent has not done. Question, question mark right there, boys. Okay, this is good. This is actually like one of our highest win percentage uh, percentage plays because we can now just do this. Plus one and start slowly discarding things in the graveyard. Which is absolutely the best thing that could have happened to us. Oh god, he is a legitimately a mill deck, huh? Uh, let's see. Well, let's get rid of the Kaya's. Okay, this is, again, not exactly the worst situation to be in life. And we can draw land, I believe. Okay, I kind of believed for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we play this. Right, right? It's, it makes perfect sense if you think about it. And now we get rid of this. We don't want to play against it that much. You know, it's annoying. Okay, is that a land? Yes, it is, which means we're gonna get rid of this. We already discarded, like, uh, one of them. So we're a little bit far-fetched on resources right there, boys. Here it is. That's the- that- that's what you call a problem. Okay, so that's fine, as long as he doesn't play a land. Okay, he played the- uh, play the tomb. That's disgusting, but you know what's really good? A Trefari in a situation like- Stop, enemy kun. I don't want you to mill yourself before I get to kill you. That would be counterproductive. God, lottery decks! Why? Why does the game give you Song of Creation every time? It's so annoying. And we got it. Boys! Easiest twins of my life. Okay. So, currently we have one loss, and I think three wins, or two wins, I stopped counting after the first win. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of wins. That means we... <laughs> okay, that does not mean exactly anything, but stop using this avatar, it's like, you're showing an extreme lack of personality, you know? And that's ki ki kind of disappointing. Okay. What are you? Oh, you're an aggro deck. Surprise, surprise. Okay, this is questionable. 
Yeah, this is be uh, this is without reason reason questionable. Okay, that's that's questionable still. Uh, can I please draw a land, a bl a green one? Perf uh, a green one would be spectacular as a game. Not gonna lie, you know. You have given me three. Sh okay, doesn't matter now, does it? Huh? God damn it! Sorenkun, why must you be such a uh, such a okay? So, ha ha game, ha ha. Ha ha game, ha ha. Why must you give me the interplanetary? They should fix the land draw algorithm. Again, I don't understand how wizards can be so absolutely fucking autistic. Do they just think that everyone wants, uh, wants... If you put four interplanetary beacons, you're gonna draw an interplan... Yeah, that's just, just surrender right there. Okay. So, yeah. If, if the game sees you putting four interplanetary beacons in the deck, you can be guaranteed that you're drawing at least one in your starting hand. And don't give me that crap, but you have a 50% chance of drawing at least one in your starting... It's four cards out of goddamn 60. Does every card... Like, how do you, how do you think? Does every card have a 50% chance of being at least one copy in my starting hand? If I have, like, 20 different cards in the... Well, not 20. It's more like 10. But yeah, do you think every card has... Great. Do you think every card has a 20 goddamn percent... Not a 50 plus percent chance to be in the starting opening hand? I don't know. I kind of feel like that's bullshit, you know? Just a little bit of that bullshit feeling is creeping up, boys. Okay, let's take the planes. Let's pretend that we're an aggro deck. He's probably laughing to the bank because we're using Fable Passage in the aggro deck. A lot of people are. Okay, let's get black also so we can cast this. Everything else we are pretty much set on. Okay, now we just need to slowly but surely draw the cards that we need and we're gonna win. It's a tactic. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, really should create a sideboard, not gonna lie, boys. A sideboard does sound tremendously awesomely good. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, drop the Tamiyo and look for a... Okay, what was... What was... Uh, remo well... Gift of Paradisio. Here it is. Let's draw it, boys. Okay, that's a bunch of elves. Any? Oh, yeah. And also, if I have a 60% chance of having a land of our elf at my starting hand, why have we never actually gotten a single land of our elf in the goddamn starting hand? Can someone please explain this extremely interesting dilemma? Gift of Paradise. How can we not hit it so well? Okay, doesn't exactly matter. We have the Fae Fishes here, it doesn't matter. Okay, great. Well, onward we go. Let's see. Well, we can get Shattered them Skies out. We can get... What is that? What are you? Oh, that's dumb. Okay, doesn't exactly matter too much. He's still one land away from making Zombal tokens. And that's absolutely fine by me. I didn't care at all. Okay. Okay, he's starting to make Zombal tokens. Great stuff. Interplanetary beacon. Why not at this point? Let's see. We can play one of these. And then we can kill this. He's not attacking the Tamiyo. That much I can guarantee you, lads. Is there anything we can resurrect? <clears throat> no, not really. So let's just continue Gift of Paradisioing. Gift of Paradise. Okay, the best part, in my opinion, is the fact that we're not even hitting Planeswalkers. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is that is by far the best part of this, boys. We're not even hitting the Planeswalkers. Oh, so I finally found the Blackberry that, not the phone, but the actual food Blackberry that I dropped on the floor and couldn't find. 
And by I found, I mean that my foot just found, and it's pretty disgusting. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, you know what? Oh, Jesus Christ, Tamiko, you're trying, like, really hard here, huh? Okay, don't attack Tamiyo, she's a good girl. Like, I serious enemy could I s I need her! At least that's something. Okay, Tamiyo did a good girl job play- Oh! Oh! Wait, if we resurrect this... And we- Oh, yeah, that's- that's absolutely fine, boys. Okay, observe. Also, this- wait! Does it even matter? No, it doesn't. Boo! Whip! Okay, do this. Nothing's an elemental, I'm assuming. Great job, nothing was an elemental. I would have been scared if it was. Uh-oh. Well, that's gonna be something really specially annoying. Okay, enemy con. It's fine. Well, actually... Let me just do this. Primeval Glorious Rebirth. We're gonna hit one. We hit zero. I am a god. <laughs> How do we not hit anything ever? Is it the curse of the fallen? Am I just that good? I don't know, boys. I do not know. Do you want the stupid frog, though? I don't even remember what it does. It's just good. That's all I remember. Oh, he's keeping everything on top, huh? Okay. Don't look at my Tamio. Don't? Good. Okay, Mulong Yang. At least that's useful. Uh, okay. L let's try this again. Primeval Glorious Reaver! Got it. Boys! Finally. Finally. Everything is starting to make sense. Yup, that's a lot of sense right there. Okay. Get rid of this because no one cares. Amazing! Get rid of this because no one cares. I should really put a sideboard in, huh? Oh, a land of our elf! I thought we don't have those. That's, that's be surrender. I know you're gonna. Oh, wait, he's legitimately not surrendering. Insanity. Okay, boys, it is fine. We are at the point of where stuff happens. It's fine, trust me. Okay, did I get a green land? No, that's still extremely better, even. <clears throat> well, enemy kun. What now, bitch? Okay, I like how, by the way, uh, Fefari's plus one is completely useless except for a draw. Well, we can't get the thing that we can cast it, but again. Aww. I didn't even notice he had Field of Ruin. What an asshole. Also, why would you not target the goddamn Gift of Paradise? Oh! Wait. Did I just give him cards to draw? I'm not honestly sure at this point. Anyway, those things can attack. Does he have anything else I am missing? Oh, look at that, it's a Golos now. Ugh. Okay, he is trying, boys. Enemy couldn't- I, I have a feeling that he's trying real hard to- Did you just kill my- Who did you kill even? Okay, that's fine. I needed to lay in anyway. Well, enemy couldn't- If you attack my out of Kyaprox- Don't attack Tamio! Who allowed him to attack Tamio? Oh god, he just, just chose that, huh? Okay, that is honestly more or less at least fine. Let us do this. I want the emblem because the emblem is gonna be super annoying for him to deal with. Okay, a quadrifari, that's fine. Now we're not gonna cast it like that. Okay, game, please learn how to use lands properly. Even I know how to use lands pro. Well, more or I know more or less how to use lands properly. Okay, and now we can do this, and let's see. I uh, don't need you anymore. Yeah, you can just do whatever the hell you please. Okay, enemy con. You can play an Uru. 
You can play whatever that card is. It's an auto. Okay, maybe don't play it next time. Save my feelings. My feelings aren't hurt. Okay. Yeah, that's a bunch of zombies, huh? Okay, how do I deal with those zombies? Or I don't deal with those. I'm not sure. Well, we get the emblem. We cast a new Tamiyo. We cast the Fey of Fishes. That's dealing with two zombies right there. And then we just slowly start to exile things very soonish. Okay. I like that solution. I don't like everything else, though. Also, if he gets a lane, I'm not exactly gonna be thrilled about that one. Well, we can always draw a Tamiyo. Jesus Christ, I dislike that so much, though. Okay, this is fine. Not really, but close. <clears throat> okay, do the plus one here, see what we get. That's useless, thank you, game. I like useless cards. Okay, and then the planetary beacon. Ah, uh, amazing. Okay, that's gonna make things a lot more easy. Let's now draw plus one here. I need to use the Fey of Fishes sooner or later also to just get... Ah, there she blow it. There she blow it, boys. Amazing. Okay, perfect. Also, I can still do this. Oh, say can you see... No, not really. But anyway, we, we we did it, lads. We did it. We have a killful emblem. Also, don't look at her too close. Look from afar, otherwise she's wrinkly. Ah, yes. So, let's do this. Too bad this is an elemental. Okay, let's now do this, because I want to save the right one. Perfect, perfect. Let's attack that guy. I just want him really dead, so it's fine. Okay, do this. Uh, let's hit that. I should honestly just have killed that. Well, I believe that we are gonna... Well, we can just minus him if I think about it. For a millisecond even. Anyway, he sees Science. He knows he can deal with it. It is absolutely 100% fine. And Tamiyo obviously instantaneously goes for the primeval glorious rebirth resurrection play. Mwah! Lovely. Okay, then we just, uh, well, honestly, I don't know what to do with the Gilfu now. Uh, plus one. Yeah, that probably made a difference. Minus three, because again, making a difference, boys. Okay, our land of war elf is dead. I am so proud of myself. A fibble bib finally took us long enough, and that's pretty much all she wrote. Well, enemy kun, your move. What now? Untapping random cards doesn't matter. Again, on the science next turn, we're not gonna mill ourselves, and this guy's one one turn away from. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Even if he. Oh wait. Well, I can minus uh, minus three the 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 the, the, the five. Oh wait, how does he do that? Enemy Kun, how do you do that? How did what what did you s Oh Fable Passage? May I make sense suddenly? Oh god, look at this guy, man. He is just going all out, huh? Okay, that is absolutely not fine, honestly. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, enemy Kun. Uh 10 out of 10 would probably never play against you again because you seem like a bad spoil sport. But now I can rotate Tamios for all that I want. So honestly, nothing you do suddenly matters. You can't, st you can't stop the tide. You can't stop me, because my deck is just flat out a lot more disgusting than yours. Oh, enemy cut! Try as you might, you will not win. You know I have a, pri a primeval glorious rebirth, aka I can do whatever I please. And I will... You know what I'm gonna do? You know exactly what I'm gonna do? I am gonna exile everything you hold dear. I am 100% exiling absolutely everything you hold dear. Who's attacking who? Can't see. Stupid animations. Okay, still can't exactly tell who's ex uh, attacking who. Yeah, this is fine. 
Boys, and you thought I don't know what his minus 3 does. Well, spoiler, I don't exactly know what his minus 3 does. But I'm pretty confident, a lot usually, that, you know, I'm gonna find the right solution sooner or later. Okay, so that's epic. Uh, let's see, do I want to do anything here? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Narset, you can do this. It's absolutely fine. Get rid of that. Uh, Shablazzle the Toad. No one cares. Uh, you do something. Need to be really careful now that I don't accidentally mill myself. Uh, great stuff here, boys. Let's see. Uh, Prime Oil, uh, just, just rebirth it up. Uh, hit this. It's fine. Okay. Do this. Oh, honestly, this, this is gonna be a little bit annoying that I kinda can't target that anymore. Okay, so... Wait, can you minus 3 the token? No, you can't! Wow, did not know that. Okay, that is absolute. Well, you know what? We can play just this for free and it will protect. Ah, don't need lands anymore. Need to be a little bit again careful. Let's start putting the emblems up slowly but surely. And let's minus another primeval glorious rebirth. Where is it? Here it is! Okay, so we have 100% made everything like we wanted it. Also, we can cast a spell from the graveyard. That's amazing. Okay, enemy con. I am not done with you yet, though. Oh, enemy con. If you think this is cl- Oh, no, 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 no. We are exiling those fields of the dead. Do you want it or not? I am not- even giving you a legitimate chance to say no. Oh no 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 no! You re you you're playing a Field of the Dead deck. I say I am absolutely gonna punish you for that. That's what I do, boys. I punish, and I'm pretty good at it at this point in time. Huh? Okay, maybe I maybe I don't know what Trefari's mi minus that does. I have that. That's really annoying, boys. Not gonna lie, that is actually. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? All my wishes to just cast a simple whatever cadaver. Ruined by these filthy meddling kids. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit you in the face now. It's not like you legitimately have a chance. It's just that I want those lands exiled, boys. I honestly really do. Okay, need to be really careful. No, good. No, no, no. No! Don't good game me before I exile your lands. Now I'm actually mad. Damn it! That could have been so much better. I could have felt so much better. Winning does not matter. I won a game and now I feel incomplete. Let's put a ball in the slot and make. Maybe that's. Oh god, it's a. Oh, it's the the shrine is now. I feel even worse. Good job, magic. You you did it. Oh god, and then it's a cat. Oh, and then it's oh god. Oh god. Now don't give me too bad of all. Oh. Oh. Good job, magic. Oh my god. How did you not put a single- well, this is good. But how did you not put a single cool MTX effect card in the rewards? I just got two orbs. And I felt bad putting them in because I know that they're garbage that I'm gonna play uh, never and very rarely. Okay, let's open the pack. Maybe that's gonna make it feel- Oh god, it's a Theros pack! Disappointment! Okay, core 21. G g give me a mythic rare. It's a disappointment! <laughs> ah. 
What is this card demon? Put that put that card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It costs five. Oh, it's a creature. What is that? Oh, it's a fun deck. This was Quasar77, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, and have a nice day, bye bye.